Hey guys, it's the Mystery Man. And yeah, we're gonna build an instant carry adder, so hopefully you know your stuff about binary and all that. Um, I'll have a link in the description to my ripple carry adder video, and I highly suggest you watch that first if you want to understand how this will work. I'm not gonna explain this too much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and demo how this works. I need to correct these real fast, so let's just do that. I'm going to show you how quick it is. This uh, instant carry adder is 4 ticks. So that's in the worst case condition. So I'm going to do 5 plus 3 because I always do that. And 5 plus 3 is 8. So we got 8 because that's the 8th spot. Alright, I'll do another add because might as well spice things up a bit. Let's do 21. Plus 14. 21 plus 14 is... 35. And it is. So, that's 32. Plus 3, which is 35. And now, since it's kind of hard to see the uh, full carry on the worst case, I put some stuff to make it a little bit easier. So... Let's go ahead and turn on all of the inputs on A. So these are all ones for A. So this is the value 255. And if I add one to 255, we should get our carry out. So yeah, I put delay on the carry in because it actually is faster than this case. So I decided to balance it out. But you can see that in four ticks, it is synchronized exactly that piston there. Yeah, basically. Now if I put it like on 2, you'll see it turns off way earlier, I think. Yeah, you can see that that's actually more synchronized. That's that's perfect. But hey, um, uh, to prove that's truly 4 ticks, though, I have to use the worst worst case, which is the actual input. And let's just do that. And there he goes. That piston and that piston turn on at the exact same time. So yeah. Uh, by the way, this is the carryout. That's why I use it as the worst case. So yeah, very uh, fast. It's a good adder for a horizontal. And now with that said and done, we're going to build it. And I'm also going to show you some tricks we can do to go beyond 8 bits. We can go like at any bit we want without doing some weird shenanigans. So you'll like this adder, hopefully. <laughs> uh, first, we're going to build the Xnor. And I normally build the XNOR just like so. I did this with the Ripple Carry Adder, so you'll be familiar with it if you've seen that video. So I'm just going to go ahead and build it. Okay, and there we go. So yeah, I guess all you guys know your XNOR truth tables. There you go. If one zero are on, then you get that. If both are on, then it's... Yeah. I think you guys understand that. Um, this needs to be a slab right here. My bad. And we're going to need to go one block down diagonal here. Like so. And then we're going to put a torch there. And this just completes that first carry. Now, to complete the second carry, we need to go down one there. And we're going to grab a note block. You can also use a piston, but note blocks are less clunky. And I like to have less moving things in the instant carry adder. So, there you go. So yeah, I used the note block there, and that's actually both of the carry conditions, because this is the AND gate for the second carry. If I do 1 and 1, get an output. Now if I do 1 and 1 here, we get an output there. So yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Okay, and guess what? Now we have to do is build an XOR gate. And the XOR is actually very easy. We're just going to take two slabs here. Put dust in, redstone, repeater. And then we're going to put a redstone torch there. And just go up th like with three snow or whatever you got. And we're going to put a piston there. And 
Um, temporarily, I'll put a block here so we could test that it is an XOR gate. So, if I do 1 XOR 0, we get a 1. If I do 1 XOR 1, we get a 0. So that's the XOR gate right there. And yeah, very cool. Now, when you've done this, to stack it with world edit, yeah, I'm using world edit, you should get it too. Uh, just put a torch there and go ahead and just pause one. Pause two and then we're going to do something. Pause two. We're going to take this block out and we're just going to put a slab and dust and then stack it seven. And yeah, it looks like I had all these. No, I didn't have alls on. But yeah, we'll get to the next part. Um, go ahead and put slabs out on these blocks right here. And then you're going to get the target block. And you're going to put them on these pistons. And then just put redstone dust on there. And then the next thing we're going to do is put blocks here. Blocks there. And then to finish it off, just some blocks here. You can also use slabs. I usually use slabs here, but blocks are just as good here. And we are almost done. Just got to break that temporary torch. And now we're going to go ahead and add the next part, which will be a cauldron filled with water. And we're going to face it down. We're going to put a piston facing down on the very end. Fill that all the way up. And then just get a redstone comparator. Put it in subtraction mode with another comparator coming out of the cauldron. And that just causes the AND gate thing again. Um, so if I were to turn on this, it retracts, which allows that comparator to take in another input. Um, and then what we're going to do for redirection is we're going to put a button right here. And that re just redirects the signal and allows us to have this part done. Just make sure you got a resin torch there so that your second carry works. And you always have to have a repeater here. So, sir, yep, that's the, that's it. And that's it. We're done. That, there's your instant carry adder. If I did 5 plus 3, it works fine. Now, what if you wanted to go beyond 8 bits just to flex on, you know, your other friends and stuff? Well, we're going to build a slightly different instant carry. As a matter of fact, we're going to use some tricks with the AND gate and this carry line to get beyond 8 bits. So I think for my demo, for the beyond 8 bits, we're going to go ahead and build an instant carry of 16 bits instead. So I'm going to take a pause 1, pause 2. I'm going to set stone. And I'm just going to build the instant carry adder one more time. Okay, so here's one bit of our adder, without the front being done, of course, so you'll just have to take that into consideration. Oh, right, I said I was going to modify this now, didn't I? Um, yeah, we should do that. So I believe the part I need to change with this is this block right here, and then these, these two. I'm pretty sure those are the only blocks I have to change in order to put my uh, carry extension in. So there we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and just stack this 31 times. Why not? Oh, easy does it. I'm just gonna stack this 31. And yeah, like you could tell like this is 
not even feasible at this point with normal ACA. With normal ACA, this would never be possible. So you'll see what's so different about the one I made here in a moment. I'm just going to set this up like so. And now I could just stack this. Yeah, I could just stack this section over 15 times. Okay, I think all those turned on. And yeah, there we go, all the carry lines. And now we're going to remove that again. And this is the part where we get to build the extension. So I'm going to turn all of input A on. And all right, so this is going to help us set up that next carry so if I turn this on you'll notice that it stops here because well it's out of signal strength so this is the fun part because we get to poke our heads up here and if we see this repeater on we're going to take our target block place it like that uh, then place a repeater here and then we're gonna place blocks like this and it's in line with that one that's on so you can see, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get slime blocks or honey blocks, and we're gonna modify this AND gate. So I'm gonna break this block, and I'm gonna break that and face it downwards. Put two, three, slime or honey, and then put a block right there, and that should continue the carry. Now if we look at here, You'll see that the carry continues on until the 14th bit. It, you can only do this every seven, so. Uh, keep that in mind. I just have to look for that repeater again, and I believe it's right there. So we do the exact same thing. We put a target block, put that, press the repeater, two blocks, and that's it. I mean, it's really easy. Like, I'm very happy. I've used this extension that I designed for a lot of my instant carry stuff so, like that logarithm calculator I made a tinier log calculator I should totally show that one off like way tiny okay that keeps going I think we're only gonna need what one more yeah probably one more let's just go ahead and build it So yeah, every seven bits you have a one tick delay. Uh, maybe we've got one more to do after this. <laughs> yeah, just one more. So it's gonna have a four tick uh, delay on the carry line but five tick in a more practical use, so you'll see that. So let's go ahead and do the last one together. Uh -huh. And there we go, we're done. So, I just got to finish it off by putting a torch there, and that's it. Uh, this instant carry adder can now go beyond... Well, it can go beyond 8 bits. Easily. And now you're just going to see how interesting this design is, because I'm going to add some test pistons here, and we're going to just see how fast that carry ripples through. And you'll see that it does ripple all the way so I mean that I mean it seems really fast doesn't it look how just look how fast that is believe it or not this instant carry adder right here takes seven well it's eight ticks for sure it's eight ticks 7.5 ticks but eight ticks for sure all right so let's go ahead and just uh 
use the other carry condition. And yeah, I'll just put eight repeaters in a line. We'll see if that's just exact. Uh, we cannot see the test piston over there. We're gonna have to lift it up by one. Yeah, it's not interfering, so don't worry. Okay, this is a very funny adder. But yeah, see, look at that. At exactly eight ticks, both of those turn on. Like that. Very cool, huh? So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. If this lengthy video helped, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll have the world download to all these again, so don't worry. Yeah, let's go ahead and do 5 plus 3. 3, 5, and 8. So yeah, there you go. I hope you... In yeah, I just said that. <laughs> I don't need to say it again. You guys take care. Enjoy the world download.